Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to Lawrence Morgan. We're still playing a little catch up here on the Faction Focus articles, and today we're going to take a look at Imperial Knights from a couple days ago and see what we have for the chivalrous Imperial Warriors that pilot the giant armored walking suits. Uh, so Imperial Knights, uh, much like Death Guard or Non Army, have strong feelings on one or the other. Uh, I do think they're kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having a knight for my, my army. Uh, they've been recently the Little Knights, the uh, Armagers, I believe they're called, uh, have been very popular as a shooting option for armies for them that don't shoot all that well, and even in some cases for ones that do. I don't own any and don't like playing two. I, I like my favorite are these guys. <laughs> Excuse me. The bigger knights, not the Dominus class, the super big knights, like over here. But I like these, the medium knights, let's call them, here. The, um, these ones are my favorites, and they are pretty cool. Let's see what we have in store for them. Okay. Uh, the big knights, you notice, they, they just have ridiculous number of guns on them. They got uh, two little turret guns here underneath their shoulders, two more on top of their shoulders. They're big arm-mounted guns. And I don't know if they've got any more. Uh, let's see here. They are known for unflagging duty and honor of code show. Yeah, they, they are very, very stereotypical medieval knight type characters. Um, they take a lot of oaths and things like that and have deeds to complete. Uh, they had a complicated internal working like that in this edition. Uh, I, I find them, they're, they're a faction I enjoy reading about a great deal, but I don't think they're one I really want to play. Especially part of the reason I don't is that they seem to be very focused on the smallest knights. That seems to be the play, and those are the ones I, I was interested in. But let's take a look at their army role, the Code Chivalric. Okay. If your army faction is Imperial Knights, the end of a rule of read mission objectives step, you must select both oaths to be active for your army. You must. It's not optional. Models from your army gain the associated oath ability. And you gain the associated D to complete from your command phases. Your second note of D is complete. Your army becomes honored for the rest of the battle. You gain three command points. Really nice. Okay, you can only get up one per battle. So if the condition reverts, you can't keep getting the command points. Lay low the tyrant. Um, each time this model is selected to shoot or fight, roll a hit roll of one. D is complete at the end of the one is destroyed. Okay. So slay the warlord or something you want to do and reclaim their own. Add one inch to move and one inch to advance and charge rolls made. This D is complete from the objective one. In your opponent's own. I know which one I'd pick. Uh, I would pick Lyle the Tyrant almost every time I think of this. Um, the Noble Lance Detective excuse the honored status by proving feel no pain to, to a 5 plus. Okay. If uh, all Imperial Knights have feel no pain on a 6, and if you are honored, those models have feel no pain on a 5. Okay, very, very handy, especially for those things that are going to, in some way or other, bypass the Knight's toughness. Now we're going to look here at the Armager Warglaive. The Armager Warglaive is the small knight. And he has uh, movement 12 inches, toughness 10, save 3 up, moves 12, leadership 7, objective control 8. Now, this is actually, toughness, mm -hmm. this is one of the reasons that I have not been as interested in. There are too many things that just bypass the toughness of models. Of. This time it seems like it's going to be toned down in 10th edition, but it's things like Votan with their Magna Rail guns where they just, oh, no, uh, we just auto wound on a certain little code because we have a grudge against you. That's... That's really, really punishing to knight armies. And the reason why I would want to play one is it's too tempting for Games Workshop to make rules that bypass their fundamental characteristics. But what has he got? A melt -a gun This is like his little sidearm. It's that typical melt -a gun profile. He's got a Questorus Heavy Stubber he can have instead of that melt -a gun And he's got the Thermal Spear. Melt -a this is a 24-inch one. Attacks 2, ballistic skill 3, up strength 12. Four damage D6. This is a more powerful multi melt. It has higher strength, it's 12 instead of 9, and it is melt to 4 instead of melt to 2. So it's at half range, it's going to be D6 plus 4 damage. Very nice. And Reaper Chain Strike, Strike, and Sweep. Uh, you can either the strike, the strike with the melee weapon is attacks 4, weapon skill 3, strength 10, AP minus 3, damage 2, or you can have twice as many. Attacks and give up two points of strength, one point of AP, and two points of damage on the sweep. Okay, no, no big surprises or anything too, too um, shocking there. And time you make a charge, you have sustained hits. What? 
for your melee weapons. And when you're at four wounds or less, you're taking minus one to hit. Okay. Yeah, this nothing nothing there to really get excited about or disturbed about. And Canis Rex, this is the named character knight, who's kind of cool, because he has a little guy that ejects from him and you can run around the tabletop to avoid technically having lost the unit <laughs> if, uh, if he's killed. I don't know how often that is successful, but you can do it. Okay, he's movement 10, so he's a little slower. Toughness 12, save 3 up. Movement 22, leadership 5, objective control 10. And he has a 5 up involved. Uh, yeah, the other guys did too. Okay, uh, what has he got? Chain Breaker, Laz Impulsor, high intensity, Laz Sustain hits. Uh, 24 inch range, D6 attacks, plus 2 strength, AP minus 3. And then he has the low intensity version, with twice as many attacks, half the strength, uh, 1 less AP, and 2 less damage. And then he has the Chain Breaker Multi Laser, 36 inches, 4 attacks, plus 6 skill, 2 strength, 6 AP, 0 damage, 1. Uh, that's his little sider. And then his melee. Uh, attacks either 5 or 10, weapon skill 2 for both of them, strength 20 <laughs> for the strike and 10 for the sweep. AP minus 3 damage died. So that is a formidable, formidable melee profile there. Especially as you're doing 9 damage on that, uh, even with only 5 attacks, if you just get 1 through, you're taking some serious uh, hit points off a of target. Okay, uh, what else has he got? Legendary Freeblade. You can target him with a strider for 0. Even if you've already used it this turn, that's pretty good. So he is basically a free stratagem. And chain breaker to an attack of successful hit five. He hits the critical hits on fives. So his sustained abilities, his hits abilities can take place on fives or sixes. So these um, these profiles over here are, for all intents and purposes, one third more effective than they appear. Because they're going to get an extra hit, uh, one hit roll out of three. And he brackets on the set. Okay. Little guy. Okay. And Sir Hector can still jog around. That's the guy. After his noble seed falls, his data sheet is on the back of the card. Okay. Weapons spot. You know, army where the knight's feet are the equal other specialized skilled combat units. It's going to be hard to pick up a deal. I guess you could. Yeah. It's probably saw it on the front of the Thunderball or two up to this. So this is the big knight, the Dominus class. One version of him uh, has, which is, I, I'm not as crazy about the biggest ones. To begin with, but I'm even less crazy about this thing. But it is kind of hilarious. The Thunderfoil, for some reason, it's a harpoon. Only has an 18 inch range. One attack plus he skill two strength 24 AP by six damage 12. So this thing is just gonna be right through um, a lot of stuff, especially because he had criticals on a four up against monsters and vehicles, and with devastating wounds, that uh, bypass is involved. This thing is absurd. <laughs> but it's only one shot, so now that doesn't mean one shot per game. It's only one shot per, per round. You can't spray these things out there. But if you get a hit with this thing, it's going to be spectacular. This big spiky beast was absolutely glorious, and the off chance got close enough to actually fire, and its track record being a hyper-intimidating and practical threat continues to impose. Look at the harpoon and the vehicles. I'm just, yeah, I'm kidding. And the Paladin has a rapid-fire battle cannon. This is one of the more medium-sized knights. Gives up variance for a more consistent number of shots. And Blast helps it out against larger hordes. Okay, so it's going to be Rapid Fire D6 plus 3 on top of its existing D6 plus 3. 72 inches. That means inside 36 inches, it's going to be 2 D6 plus 6 shots. Okay. Uh, plus 6 skill, 3 up strength, 10 AP minus 1 damage, 3. This thing is going to be brutal on infantry, even elite infantry. It's going to just wreck face. I, I can see it now. But a Knight Paladin is not a cheap model. It's over well over 400 points right now, and there's no reason it shouldn't be devastating. That's that's kind of as it should be. Um, but you do have to, you know, in today's tables, though, it is really hard to keep something away outside of 36 inches, and there is no getting outside 72 inches unless you're playing a really large game. Stratagem. Shoulder of the bird. When your command phase, one appeal nice model from your army is lost whenever wounds. Until your next command phase, it proves your model's toughness. Save leadership projective control. Fix it one each time your model makes an attack at one of the hit roll. Use it once per battle. Okay. Okay, so you can only use this on a knight that is in some way damaged, but gives you a pretty much across the board 
boost. And then they can do this with this trophy claim. Noble Lance Epic Deed Stratagem. Your shooting or fight is one Imperial Knight's model for your army is up and selected to shoot or fight this phase, whatever your vehicle or monster you have. The end of your phase, each time your model makes an attack that targets an enemy unit, add one to the wound roll. If your model destroys the enemy unit this phase, you gain one CP, but if the model does not destroy the enemy unit this phase, you can use the stratagem again for the rest. <laughs> so uh, you got to use this to finish some off, or else you're locked out of it. Okay, uh, and we've got some books on here. King's Blade, Knight's Blade, Knights of the Imperium. I don't know too much about any of these books, but they do look nice. And apparently, they're all e-books. They're all tablets here. And the Iron Kingdom. Deliver a fallen hero to the Knight's World will only be caught in a vicious feud story by the forces of the Archon. Yes. Chaos means right down there, getting in, getting in there. Okay. All right, uh, and if it isn't, what's wrong with you? And you said it's the over moment point of your value and mad panic. Uh, let's see what those mean. Look at my hair from your girls in despair. Yep. And I did not see where, if it isn't what's wrong, where that point was. Let's see if we can find it again real quick. Yeah. If the answer is yes, the Imperial Knights are you. Yeah. So basically, if you want, if you don't want to play Imperial Knights, what's wrong with you? Well, I guess there's, that's a good question because these things are pretty awesome. So anyhow, that's all I have today. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. We're going to be continuing to catch up. We're going to hit Tau next. Tau's going to be a big one because Tau are an army that I kind of take issue with. I don't take issue with people playing Tau, but I do just kind of take issue with Tau. Um, and there's going to be some additional talk in there about why that is but don't don't feel like yeah, i don't like you if you're a town player i will still play against you and i won't give you a hard time but i guess got to get it out there anyhow we'll see you again soon please remember to like subscribe comment down below and click the notifications bell for more great content from the and i will see you back again very soon